Where do I even start with Death Stranding? With the fact that it's the weirdest video game I've ever played, with the gameplay that involves running over mountains with copious amounts of cargo strapped to your back, or the fact that you have a baby in a bottle strapped to your chest the entire game, and that's not the weirdest thing that happens. Death Stranding is a game that you'll either love or hate. Me, I love it. Given the influence of weird fiction in my writing, I was drawn into the complex and often inexplicable plot. Directed by Hideo Kojima of Metal Gear Solid fame, Death Stranding charts unfamiliar territory in game storytelling, rewriting rules about what a narrative should be, while dismissing traditional storytelling tropes and breaking down the fourth wall. Is it fully successful in what it tries to achieve? I'm not sure, but what I do know is that I really dug this near meditative game about life and death and baggage. I'm Kat Clay, a Melbourne writer and reviewer. If you like video games, please do hit subscribe and let's get into the Death Stranding director's cut. So what is Death Stranding about? Well, that's the million dollar question. I can tell you where it starts. Sam Porter Bridges is a courier who crosses a post-apocalyptic landscape to deliver essential goods to the remaining cities. The earth has been forever changed into a barren purgatory. Those with doom skills make deliveries, and this is people with varying levels of psychic powers, which allow them to see BTs or travel through the chiral energy. It's on one of these deliveries that you rescue BB a psychic baby in a bottle which helps you level up your doom skills. BBs, BTs, dooms, if that's a lot of acronyms you are not alone. Also there is rain which makes you grow old and rainbows are bad. If you're struggling to get your head around that summary, think of Death Stranding as a cosmic horror version of the Kevin Costner film The Postman. It's a weird fiction hiking simulator, if you will. So let's take a look at Death Stranding's gameplay. Never has taking a piss been so vital to a game. I am not even joking. Because the wilderness is so toxic, showers and trips to the loo will become part of your regular post-delivery rituals. And there are advantages to evacuating your bowels. Early in the game you'll get um, poo bombs made from your own excrement. I do love their commitment to recycling in this game. Apart from taking out BTs and mules, which are Death Stranding's cargo-hogging bandits, the main gameplay revolves around delivering packages to various cities and depots. These are vital items such as medical supplies, CDs, and occasionally sperm. Okay, the first one might be the most vital here. Along the way, you'll traverse a rocky landscape, and it's important to make sure you plan your route. The quickest way is not always easiest. Spending too much time outdoors in the aging rain damages your cargo containers, reducing your ability to earn from deliveries and potentially destroying the cargo itself. Added to this, the threat of BTs and mules makes it more challenging to get through areas. When faced with BTs in the early parts of the game, you'll simply need to avoid them using fairly standard stealth techniques, such as crouching and holding your breath. Running or driving straight into an area crawling with BTs isn't recommended, but if you take the stealth approach, dispatching the BTs is relatively straightforward. Finding them is the hard part. Even though your spidey, I mean doom sensors, register the BTs, you're often twirling around to see if they're behind you. They're behind you! Their eerie handprints offer a satisfying horror element to the game, and if they catch you, you'll lose your cargo and maybe even your life. There are a plethora of tools to help you navigate the landscape, from ladders to climbing ropes, as well as support devices such as post boxes, watchtowers, and bridges. You do work for a company called Bridges, after all. These can be built from materials earned from doing jobs for local centers or found abouts in the landscape. But be careful about picking up too many things. You'll totter and balance over the rocky world once your pack nears the weight limit. There's a kind of absurdity to these teetering piles which really appealed to my sense of humour. I found it kind of amusing almost. The automatic distribution button in this game is your friend and it can be accessed through the cargo menu on your map. The menus here are frustrating. You'll need to confirm every choice rather than just select and exit. 
It makes for a bit of a painful navigation experience having to track down to the bottom of the page and hold a button rather than just pressing the back button to escape. I'm not usually one to play online games, too many fears about getting DMs from someone called BiggerSticker69, but in this case, online play gives you an advantage and the haunting sense that people have come before you in this desolate landscape. Sometimes when you call out, people will answer, although you'll never really see them. It's also kind of nice to see people using the pieces of equipment you leave out, passing on a thumbs up whenever something is helpful. It's this camaraderie which is encouraged throughout the game and I really appreciated that putting items into the shared locker for other players to use nets you more likes, which increases your standing as a porter. It's worth mentioning that there's a plethora of excellent actors among the cast of Death Stranding. Norman Reedus of Walking Dead fame plays Sam with stoic determination. Mads Mikkelsen plays BB's dad, or as I like to call him, Mads Dads. And having recently watched Crimes of the Future and played Death Stranding this week, Leia Sidhu always reminds me of how talented she is. I'm here for Death Stranding in the same way I was here for the last episodes of the original series of Neon Genesis Evangelion. I'm not sure what exactly is going on, but I'm committed to see it through. If you need everything explained, every loose end tied up, then Death Stranding is unlikely to be the game for you. But if you're someone who contemplates the unexplained, is curious about loose ends and ambiguity and enjoys inventory management, then Death Stranding could be right up your alley.